Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this third question of exercise 1.3 and the question says you have to express the following in the form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q should not be equal to 0. So, uh, this is 0.6 bar and this bar means the number below this will repeat itself means if this is written 0 0.6 bar means this is 6 6 6 6 6 6 and so on similarly if this is 0 0.47 bar means the 4 will remain as it is but 7 will repeat itself and so on similarly here it will be 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 and so on now, if you want to convert this into P upon Q, what we have to do is, first of all, let's take or consider this equation e equals to x. So, this will be our first equation. Now, what you have to do is, you have to multiply this equation with 10 or you can say with 100 or with 1000 depending upon the number of digits it it is repeating because here it is repeating one digit so you have to multiply this with the number having one zero means you have to multiply this with 10 in this case there are three digits which are repeating so here you have to multiply it with thousand because there are three digits repeating so we have to multiply it with uh, the number carrying three zeros now here we will have to multiply it with again 10 now, if I multiply this with 10, so 10x, uh, after multiplying this equation with 10, so this will give 10x, and when I multiply this with 10, so obviously we know that whenever a number is multiplied by 10, decimal is shifted to the right hand side, so it will become 6.66666 and so on. This will be our second equation. Now, what we have to do is, now I have to subtract this first equation from this second equation. So I have to subtract first from second. Now when x is subtracted from 10x, so it will remain 9x. Now you have to subtract this part from this. So obviously after decimal it is same, so it will cancel or you can say 6.66666 minus 0 0.6666 so 6666 will cancel out and the result will be 6 so after x will be equal to 6 upon 9 and cancelling this this will be equal to 2 upon 3 so the value of x is 2 upon 3 and we have considered that the value of x is the expression so the this expression can be written as 2 upon 3. So here we have converted this expression into in a form of P upon Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Similarly, if you want to solve this, what you have to do is you have to consider this as x. So this will be the first equation. Now there are three digits repeating, so you have to multiply this with the number carrying three zeros. So this will be, I have to multiply this equation with thousand. Now, if I multiply this equation with thousand, so x multiplied by thousand will be thousand x. And when this is multiplied by thousand, so obviously the, I have already told you that when we are multiplied with ten, hundred or thousand, decimal shifted to the right hand side. So here are three zeros so I have to shift this decimal after three places so this will become 0, 0, 001 after point 0, 0, 001 0, 0, 001 and so on so this will be our second equation again we have to follow the same process you have to subtract this first equation from second equation so 1000 minus 1 will be 999 x and equals to when this expression is subtracted from this expression because after point this expression and this expression is same so this these two expression will be cancelled out 
so only one will remain here so the value of x will be equals to 1 upon 999 so this will be the answer for this third part where we have converted this expression into in a form of p upon q p and q are integers and q is not equals to 0 here now we have to solve this now how to solve this again first of all let make this question as this means if I shift this decimal here what I have to do is first of all I have to consider that this is equal to x this is our first equation multiply this equation with 10 so this will give 10x equals to 4.777 and so on now this question is same as this here 4 after 4 it is 0.7777 and it is repeating itself now what you have to do is because there is one digit repeating itself so again you have to multiply this with one uh, the number carrying one zero that is 10 so this will become 100x and this will become when this is multiplied by 10 again the one decimal will shift to the right hand side and the expression will become 47.77777 and so on now I have two equations and both the equations after decimal the expression is same when I subtract these two these two expression will cancel it out so subtracting these two equations so 100 minus 10 will be 90x that will be equal to when 47.7777 minus 4.7777 so 7777 will cancel it out and 47 minus 4 will be 43 so the value of x will be equal to 43 upon 90 so this will be the answer for this second part now let, uh, let me uh, revise this for you if there is only decimal uh, there is only one digit repeating you have to multiply it with 10 now if there are three digits repeating you have to multiply this with 1000 if there are two digits repeating you have to multiply this equation by 100 but here this is 0.4 and then it is repeating so first of all you have to shift this 4 to the left hand side or you can say you have to shift this decimal to the right hand side for that you have to multiply this with 10 now this question will become same as this where only one digit is repeating so now you have to multiply this with again 10 because only one digit is repeating and this will become 100x will be equal to 47.777 then again you have to follow the same process you have to subtract these two equations and you will get your answer so this is how you can solve this third question i hope you have understood how to solve this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you